I just want to begin, um, someone, uh, kind of put this in my face and I never really paid attention to it until recently. Um, this is recorded in the state of South Carolina. It's dated January 20th, 1790. And it's a petition from, uh, some free Moors that are subjects of Morocco that are living in the state of South Carolina and do no fault of their own that they have been, um, pretty much captured by the United States. And you can pause and read it, but to focus on, and I suspect these are last names, um, Francis, Daniel, Hammond, and Samuel, free Moors, on behalf of themselves and their wife, Fatima, Flora, Sarah, and Clorinda. And um, they were promised to be redeemed by the Emperor of Morocco, the ambassador. If you look at this copy, um, basically kind of states the same thing, but it says that um, that they believe that they might have been pirates also. But this is also from the law that was just passed that they referenced. And um, it clearly stated if they were more than Negroes of Asiatic that they weren't under the act. Um, so this is another part, which is in a book, um, and you can pause and read it. But in the um, legislature, it referenced um, 96, District 96, and this is in South Carolina in a town called Greenwood. Um, back in 1776, this is what the area looked like. And prior to all of the um, tribes that were associated and around the area, And this is right before, um, I should say, the um, Revolutionary War. This is another um, map of Promised Land and Greenwood. And um, 96 is in this area. So Promised Land is within Greenwood. And um, it's about 600 people there and it's 98% um, African American and this is some past history on it. There is a book called The Promised Land in which um, my relatives are actually listed in there. Um, I went to the Freeman list around the time and found a Scott Samuel um, also confirmed it in the census and um, who had purchased him and this William Blakely and William Blakely also is listed here to hold Samuel and their Scott is also in and I'm not sure if Scott and Samuel are the same so um, I got some information on William Blakely and all of his stats due to an ancestry and he was in the Revolutionary War um, so he's tied to um, it shows a couple sales But definitely he was tied to American Revolutionary War. I do find some of his um, enlistment papers and what he was given. Um, Scott has really no dates of birth. And it does show that his wife is classy. But I know noticed that even back in the day, um, some of their names were spelled wrong. Scott, in our family history, was says the first link. We thought he was Zulu. And um, he was able to marry legally at a time where slavery is in full swing. Um, so this is our family tree. This is um, his son, Benjamin. He was born a slave and he lived to be 112 years old. And his wife was also born a slave and she lived to be 116. And so this shows um, Benjamin and Polly on the census in 1880. If you can see from my um, Sorry, Charlie George's obituary, here. everybody afterwards became a preacher and they had freedom papers. And um, this is a picture of him. And he's the son of Benjamin who was born a slave and died free. Also in my family, there are the Marshalls and the Marshalls and Glovers intermarried all the time in promised land 
they never really um married outside so i've been just trying to track um and and i could just only get as far as scott and classy um this is the death certificate of benjamin and it clearly lists scott and cast classy um again this is 96 is in greenwood and um, just to give you a perspective on where it is, a very small area. And Promised Land is within here. So this just shows all the lineage of Charles and going back up to other relatives. And Queen Esther and the Masseys are another family that were, it's like four families that are just tied tight. Um, we thought he was a pygmy, so, um, and from the Zulu tribe for some reason, but I really, looking in my DNA, um, it's, I think we're Baca, and just because of the area in which my DNA is showing up, I did some research on pygmies and their migration, and they're associated with the tribe of Benjamin, even back into, um, the Egyptian dynasty that pygmies were always favored. Pygmies also went into Finland and they were called Finns in Norway and Russia. And I'm getting into why I'm bringing this up. So this is my DNA makeup. And you can see exactly what my makeup is and you can pause. But that's Scandinavian and uh, Moroccan. And it's funny that <clears throat> Ancestry is trying to change my DNA to make it less um apparent because before i was greek but it did mention here that he purchased his freedom that he was possibly turkish or retired um pirates and they mentioned the captain i have a rare genetic disease which happens to be tied and have the highest indices in the sahara region of these surrounding ref so people which is and ties into the moors and to my um dna and um it just i just got this information about they were involved in the slave trade and um egypt and things like that so um this is the plantation in which um benjamin and probably scott lived on and I've been meaning to visit. This is um, Daniel Bird, who at the time was the owner of Scott Orb, um, Benjamin. And I just have all of his Revolutionary War records. Just captured it and snapshotted it. And I think I traced him all the way back. He's one of the Mayflower people but i couldn't understand why dna was it was no linkage and we weren't raped i just i just knew that it just was something not right and i just found so many things with um daniel bird and tying into uh benjamin so i went back and was trying to just figure out the slave trade and what actually was going on so it's possibility that my ancestor really is got tied up in one of these kingdom battles and was taken prisoner, got captured and brought to America, stole, um, kind of paid his way, got enslaved, paid his way out. Eventually they were um given promised land where they've always been, and my family's always been able to travel from Charleston to um ninety six. And if you look in the maps, it's just a huge area for us to have freedom papers and be able to walk in that time era. It's like, we did not have the same Alex Haley Roots story. So, um, I have a few more things to um, that I've seen and possibly could tie together. But I'm just not sure. And I really would like to know any other stories or things of such, um... And it makes sense what um, my uncle BJ was saying that he really did come on a ship and I know most of us didn't.